salt and straws, sweet potato pie with double baked almond streusel. It's a mouthful, right? So we just finished Parker House Rolls with salted buttercream. That was kind of like our appetizer, our gateway into the Thanksgiving meal. Now, you know, it's only right that we get into some, uh, some sweet potato. It deserves, it better be at everybody's Thanksgiving meal at their table. It is easily my favorite. Mmm. Pecan pie is up there. Right. It's, it's easily my favorite, most favorite Thanksgiving side. Sweet potato casserole with the brown sugar baked crumbled pecan topping. Oh, it's heaven. If you're doing it with marshmallows, you're doing it wrong. Don't at me. This is not up for debate. If you if 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 you make it with marshmallows, I'm I'm exiting left. No way. This this flavor is a sweet potato pie. A little bit different than sweet potato casserole. And it's with double baked almond streusel. Here's the description. It's a salted vanilla ice cream, and they layer in this sweet potato pie filling. So you can see the orangish spots around this, this ice cream. And lastly, they take baked croissants, so they're already baked, and then they cover them in toasted almonds and bake them again. Double baked almond streusel. So, digging in, you already know I've raved about this pack. It's a very good ice cream. The salted vanilla, it's easily the, you know, the, I'm gonna say the least appreciated part of this pint. It just, it takes a back seat. It's a canvas. They just took a basic, a, I hate to say basic. They just took a vanilla ice cream, add a little bit of salt, and they let the mix-ins do the talking. They wanted just a pleasant base for those mix-ins to shine. And it does. It is, oh, oh God. Getting ice cream all over me. Mm. Sorry about that. It doesn't scream salty. And like, it doesn't scream vanilla if I'm being honest. I think there's like just enough salt to pull all that vanilla, vanilla flavor away. Nonetheless, it's good. It's just, I mean, it's just a canvas. It's just a base. So let's talk about this sweet potato pie filling. Here's a perfect little look at the top right here. It definitely is actual sweet potato pie filling, sweet potato pie swirled throughout. How do I know that? It's got like, here's how, it's hit and miss. Some parts it's really like gooey, soft, mushy, fluffy, like a pie. But in other parts, it's suffering from a little bit of freezer burn. It's, it's a tad icy. It's not a game changer or, excuse me, a deal breaker by any means. It's far from, you know, sticking my nose up at it. But I do notice some textual issues every now and then. I don't know if you can see here. It just doesn't, you can tell this one's just not as gooey, soft. Definitely a little, you know, it's slightly frozen. It melts right away, but slightly frozen. The flavor though, it couldn't be better. It tastes exactly like sweet potato pie. You know those sweet potatoes are obviously sweet, but they have this cinnamon and nutmeg spice and it just gives it that whole autumn fall vibe. The flavor, perfect. Leaves a little work on the texture. Now we're at these, you know, this almond streusel. And they describe it as crunchy. 
it's definitely not crunchy. You get the chunks of uh, dough here. So this is a, this is a pretty big bite. I just ate half of that too. And once again, it's very soft and doughy and chewy for being a bread, in this case, a croissant. You then get these, like, ever seen the, uh, especially like an almond topping, almond streusel. It's got the thinly shaved almonds coated. And that's not crunchy, but you do get more of a, a tougher chew, a firmer chew. I'll be honest, the flavor though, I don't get croissant. I really don't get much almond. If I get anything, I get this toasted vibe, this toastedness to it. Maybe a little bit of nuttiness, but mainly a toasted flavor. I mean, I'm not, it's good. I'm not saying it's bad. I just don't get a lot of almond. And I certainly don't get any croissant. So where does that leave us, right? I think, like I think it's fair to say there are some flavors that are suffering here. The vanilla base and even the, the almond croissant streusel. But this flavor is based around sweet potato pie and it screams sweet potato pie in the most fabulous way possible. With that sweet potato pie, you get a little bit of textural issues. I guess that, that gooey pie filling just doesn't freeze well. There are certainly plenty of parts of the pint where the sweet potato filling is soft, gooey, light, fluffy, but a lot of it does not freeze well. It leaves you with just a little bit of iciness. And for that reason, the entire ice cream, you know, it's, it's creamy. It's not as creamy as usual. Some ups and downs here. Great flavor, a little bit of textural issues. I love sweet potato pie and sweet potato casserole. I'm a fan. The croissant and almonds, they give you this kind of like flaky chew, but there's not much flavor. So it's a little give and take back and forth. This one, still a good scoop though. Sweet potato pie with double baked almond streusel from salt and straw gets a seven and a half out of 10.